guys so I decided to show you a tutorial how I run uh, resonant rise mainline via AT launcher with the oculus rift dk2 support uh, there was a release of minecraft currently which is a release candidate or even better for um, oculus rift dk2 and minecraft 1.7.10 I try to Google a bit how I can launch uh, instances from AT Launcher with Oculus Rift support. I didn't uh, found any proper information on that matter, so I decided to make um, my own tutorial. Well, basically, it's just uh, running Resonant uh, Rise mainline with Oculus, and maybe if you would like to test or, or fiddle, maybe some other packs, um, but yeah so let's jump into it so of course the resonant rise itself is from the AT launcher it's a pack uh, also all the information on all the files I, I will use is uh, will be added to the description and it's basically just uh, extracted from, from minecraft uh, mod itself so I didn't do anything with uh, coding like java jars and stuff like that I just uh, uh, know where to put uh, them to, to work so uh, it will not be a professional tutorial so bear with me in any case if you're interested maybe it will help you so the first part is of course to uh, uh, to download the resonant rise itself so let's create a new instance uh, I tried with 3.2.6.8 release candidate for minecraft 1.7.10 it works okay well at least the game launches the oculus works the mod seems to be working uh, so yeah maybe you could also try with different versions so let's choose mainline it will choose all the mods which is recommended by them click install uh, it's downloading the back now this video probably will be longish one and definitely not professional but it shouldn't take too long as well okay so as it's downloading basically what we'll be doing is just put additional uh, mods to that instance basically it's optifying minecraft itself and a uh, few mods that are required for for minecraft also a few of the natives which of course is again from minecraft uh, itself and we will be adding some uh, strings to launch parameters and the pack itself so updating will probably updating the pack will probably break in everything so just keep note on that in any case when we have our pack now uh, the first thing to do is actually edit mods and disable apple core it's defined for resonant rise as a um, required mod but i didn't saw any bad behavior without it and with it uh, the minecraft just doesn't work it, it errors out and uh, it seems we are not compatible but every other mod seems to be okay well at least with the mainline setup and if you will try with the other packs well it's up to you to see what works and what doesn't okay so apple core mod is disabled the next thing is to go to settings java minecraft and uh, there is a java parameters box so we will need to add two values uh, as i said i will upload this information and the required files i will provide the link in the description so one of them just add a space and add this one click save okay so that's done uh, the next part is to actually add the uh, required mods and the natives so go to your AT launcher location to the instances to the newly created resonant rise instance now go to bin folder and as I said I will provide these files just 
copy everything. Once again, if you don't trust me or, or the files I will upload, as I said, it's basically uh, taken from the Minecraft uh, mod itself. So you can just download Minecraft, extract those uh, files and don't use mine. In any case, uh, jars are here. Now we also need to do the same with natives. Also, uh, it's from the Minecraft itself. So natives go to bin natives. Just pass them here as well. And now a bit of fiddling. So in instances, resonant rights, we have an instance JSON file. You should open with your text editor. I prefer Notepad++, but it doesn't really matter. And we'll do some text inserting right now. So you can see if this line library is needed. Oops, sorry. So first of all, we need to add Optifine and Minecraft itself before everything. I don't really know if the order uh, matters so much, but well, as it worked with, for me with this and things, I'm showing you this. Just make sure that for each jar file, there is a colon. So Optifine and the colon and launch wrapper, blah, blah. And then go to the end of this line uh, before, uh, after the last file actually, add the column again. It's actually comma, not colon, sorry. English is not my first language, so comma. And, oh, damn it. and um, copy this line to the end of it. So basically we're just saying that we will load additional uh, jar mods uh, to, to the Minecraft instance itself. And uh, with this line we are done. Now there is extra arguments. It's uh, tweak classes. There are currently two tweak classes. It's FML tweaker and light loader tweaker. But we need to add two more. So one of them is Optifine. So it, to in the end of the list, just add the space and pass the Optifine tweaker. And same with the Minecraft. And then just add the space and uh, pass it. You don't need extra spaces. So that's that. And everything else should be okay. Just to be sure, yeah, we added these parameters, we added the tweaks and we added dependencies. Cool. So we can save the instances JSON file. <coughs> Sorry. Now, uh, I saw a behavior that when you edit the instances JSON, AT Launcher doesn't always refresh it while we try to load. So just close AT Launcher, go back and, and, and run it again. So let's go to our instances. Uh, my Oculus now is connected, I guess. Yeah, everything okay. Uh, also, Oculus is in uh, direct uh, H uh, HMD access. I didn't try whatever setup, so it's up to you. But basically, you just hit play and wait, I guess, around two or three minutes to launch. It has a few errors, but as I said, I didn't saw any problems with it. It works fine. Well, at least at the beginning. So we will wait for it to load. Bear with me, it can take up to a minute or two. And the experience for myself is quite nice. I tried it a little bit yesterday. Uh, in the new world, I can get up to 75 uh, FPS with uh, just a single GTX 970. But I don't know when you will build something or add extra structures, maybe the frames will drop. But in any case, the experience, has, experience seems to be quite fine, quite okay. Sometimes uh, in the beginning when it loads, it seems that it freezes. Uh, the Minecraft itself becomes quite not uh, responsive, but just wait a few more seconds and everything should be fine.
also uh, Oculus SDK I use 501 the la latest one I think or maybe it's 502 well in any case it's, uh, it's the latest update Yeah, as I said, it will take some time. Maybe I will skip this from video. We'll see. I just want to show the proof of concept that it really works. Okay, so we see this first screens. It's still, as I said, it's frozen but just wait a bit okay uh, I'm just moving my oculus okay so let's calibrate okay and we can see the settings the sensors works just single player create a new world sorry if the uh, video is probably a bit shaken because I'm holding the Oculus in one hand right now so let's create a new world also if, if performance is uh, not as you expect first thing you should try is to decrease the rendering distance it really helped for me uh, with default settings, I don't really get the steady 7.5 FPS uh, uh, frames per second, but with decrease rendering distance to 10, am I wonder water? Wow, good spawn location. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, the frame rates is 50, 60. It it will be better when the world gen will complete. Uh, basically, yeah, you, uh, Minecraft works. We have not enough items. Uh, that works. Uh, the world works. The sensors. Uh, the depth sensor works. The movement works. And as I said, fiddling with the graphic settings uh, should increase the performance for me as well. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you somehow. Uh, just try with different packs, maybe you will uh, will be able to run other uh, packs from AT Launcher. It would be nice if you comment it, if you, if you are successful. And once again, all the credits are for the owners. Minecraft, you guys are awesome. Minecraft community itself. And yeah, see you later.